Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Stop that Anita. Go to the automation. Automation tab. Automation tab. Record and run settings. Record and run settings. Select the Windows application. Windows application. Windows tab on the top. Windows application and then click on OK. Click on OK. Now click on record. Now open the application from the start. Okay, now click on the record. Windows application. Click on OK. Okay, go to the flight application. Enter. Enter it and then go to flight application. Open it. Type the agent name and password. Click on the OK button. You got to... No, Anita, see, if, uh, if you click anywhere else, okay, I can't help this. Okay, you should strictly click only in the agent name and then the password. You know, you got to follow the instructions, okay? Okay, again open the application which is, uh, you know, minimized at the bottom. Do you see? Flight application which is in the bottom. 
it is in the bottom do you see there it is minimized okay anyways enter the agent name enter the agent name agent name anything you can enter okay you can enter anita something you can enter password is mercury click on okay button enter the date of flight enter the date of flight no from the first place you got to enter from the first place enter the date of flight and then click the fly from select it click on flights flights button enter your name then insert order now close the application close the application application do you see flight reservation application you got to close that it is again minimized in the bottom okay it is closed click on stop click on stop okay delete line number 3 delete line number 8 to 20 from line number 8 to 20 delete everything delete line number 19 and 20 then now click on the run button click on the run button Okay Anita is it fine do you see it has executed and the result result is also passed okay Okay then so give me a moment we will start with the next topic like i mentioned to you okay So the next topic that we have it is the vb scripting okay which is in fact a very important point uh, important topic you know wherein you will be learning the programming okay let me share my screen oh okay uh, ritu right sorry yeah for i forgot ritu one second i'll unmute you 
or I'll make you the presenter and then you share your screen. I tried to check, okay, for your problem that you had, the active screen is not getting recorded. I could not find any solution for that. Okay, show me your screen, Ritu. Okay, let me unmute you and you tell me what is the error. Yes, tell me. Hello, can you hear me, Priya? Yes. Yeah, actually, uh, my active screen is uh, somehow it's working. I don't know how uh, I mean it's working. Okay, then that is good thing. Okay. Yeah, I just uh, I mean open the active screen uh, and uh, I mean it's working fine. But my program is not working fine. I mean, can you see it's showing the error? Okay, run it. Okay, fine. Okay. Click on stop. Go to your um, QTP. Uh, where? Okay. Delete the line number 12 and re-execute. This one? Yes. Line number 12, delete it and re-execute. Okay, that's fine. Yes, now execute. Oh, because it's a hard code value Denver, right? Right. And that's right. Oh, it's not showing my name. Okay, enter it, no problem. Enter it. Oh, can I write my name here? Yeah, yeah, enter it. Okay, run it again. Close the application. Do you see two flight reservation application are open? Close all of oh, them before you run. Okay, what is happening here? DT Global Sheet, fly from. Did you click on anywhere? No, no, I didn't click. No, uh, actually, I didn't click anywhere. Okay, it's click on. Uh, cannot retry. There. Click retry. on retry. Yes. Actually, it's showing cannot identify the specified item of the fly from object. Mm -hmm. Click on retry. Uh, Again, do the same thing. Maybe you have not done that parameterization properly, okay? Re-record the st uh, steps again, okay, and then, okay. yeah. Actually, I tried yesterday, it was showing me the same problem. Cannot identify the specified item of the slide form. Yeah, maybe you are repeating the same mistake again. Click on stop. Okay, and then open this QTP completely. I mean, maximize it. Right click on that fly from, oh, oh sorry, sorry, go to okay. the keyword view. Okay. Yes, keyword, just a minute. Keyword view. Okay. Here, let me close the, uh, the access here. Oh. Okay, now. Go to the keyword view.
and then click on that uh, data table fly to uh, data table uh, do you see okay, fly, fly to? to yeah click on that mm -hmm. click on that hash okay. mark okay click on okay okay so here it appears to be correct yeah. Go to the, Actually, yeah. he is saying, I think he didn't select default slide. Which slide? No, that we have removed it, right? Yes. Hmm. So why we remove this default slide? Uh, no, Dinesh, she is in fact you know, not uh, clicking on any flight. She is clicking on just the OK button. Okay. So then the default flight will get selected. Okay, fly from fly to. This is right. Um, okay, try it again. Okay. Now do one thing while you close the close the QTP. Show me how do you open the QTP? How do I open? Yes. Uh, here, yeah, yeah. It's on desktop. QTP mm -hmm. professional. Double click and open that. Okay. Should I close this? Yes, close it and reopen. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Let me see. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our home page on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-1269. 17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.